how uh, easy or difficult is it to sort of like make your impression on a game that's already been established? It's kind of it's been difficult because we were asked to change everything and change nothing at the same time. So you had to respect and restore assassins, but we had to refresh everything. So that's the challenge. It was really good. Thankfully, we had to like a lot of the same people. So we were able to change things up without fear that we were going to go in a completely wrong direction because everyone knew what we were doing. Next. We just kind of brought in some new styles and changed it up so that the assassin himself moves differently and you know, has a different feel. I think you're fine when you play as him. He's not the same as Altair or Ezio, especially when he fights. So it was, it was a big challenge, but it was, it was really good fun. <laughs> That it's not, it's not for American because there is no American, especially when you start. Everyone is speaking with an English accent or, or a Scottish accent, like I have as well, and British. You know. And it's, it's as soon as you could walk, you know, you, you just hear all this kind of stuff. And uh, as the course of the game progresses, you see, like, you have. The colonial army will appear and the British redcoats will fight them when we see them and stuff and by the end of the game there are no redcoats anymore. So of course like we're, we're just showing part of the game over and over but it's, it's kind of unfortunate but it's one of these things they just have to trust us and once the game comes out we get to see it. Like, yeah. We already have shown that you can kill colonial people. Yeah. It's just it's not part of the marketing. Destroyed? You stupid man! I suppose you want me to tell Johnson his tea just spontaneously combusted? Nonsense. Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window. For a corner or a wall, uh, and it's some kind of rough calculations, but we added an extra hour worth of in-game animations, which is a lot. So a lot of stuff. And it, had, it turned out to about 7,000, over 7,000 new animations. So that was an alpha. So we still added quite a few. It's probably closer to 8,000 new animations now. Wow. And we didn't get rid of everything we sold. Like, we didn't change the way you write up because like, that's not a way that you get the character across. You know? So we kept all of it. Like, we still use the same as Ezio. But we changed all the important ones, all the key ones, like the way he stands, the way he walks and runs, and definitely the way he fights. And, and one of the other big ones was the way he runs through the trees, they jump, so that was like we just ripped out all the old stuff and put it So yeah, it's like over seven thousand, close to eight thousand animations, and we changed all the all the key ones. What's the trouble, Connor? So you're here past chasing a man. He was trying to rob your home. It has been dealt with. What? Oh, the women. Is everyone all right? We made the target gameplay footage in uh, it was late twenty ten. And that was, that was kind of good fun. It was like a few months, you know, like really difficult period to just like work and come up with all these ideas and throw it in. And I was really happy with it at the time. And we didn't realize like how close the game was until towards the end we looked at it again. Like, oh, yeah, a lot of that stuff's still there. Like, I would use it every so often. I'd pull it up and say, okay, so we're going to do this feature, make it look like that. Because we'd already kind of tried a lot of this stuff, you know? So but the, I'd say the biggest use of it was like, when when you're bringing new people onto the team, you could just show them the video and they instantly get the game. And it, it's amazing how the game ended up being that video because everyone was going with the same vision, everyone had the same direction, and we ended up like there were even things that we added in the last few weeks yeah. that were actually in the video as well. Yeah. So we, I don't think there's many things in the video that didn't end up being in the game. Justice for once. I dare the governor to send more. <laughs> You all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. 
we're really fortunate in that some of the core engineers of the original engine were on our project from the start. Like when there was only like 12 to 15 of us, uh, they were some of the guys there and they were pushing already. So we redid a lot of the animation pipeline. We redid some of the cinematics and stuff as well. Okay. That's something we haven't really talked about. But you see that the, the cinematic characters are much higher quality than they were before. Uh, the quality of the animation and cinematics and the facial, it's all been redone. We changed like the, just even the tools that we used to make the animations. Um, and we did all this kind of crazy stuff with the, we call it the massive crowds, where we can just bring in thousands of characters, like two and a half thousand, up to two and a half thousand on screen. And that's, it's, you need it to do it because when you go to North America, you can see all the way down the street and never just hit it. And we added it specifically for that, and they were like, hey, we could use this for all these things. We have like lots of separate since they wouldn't show you. They just have thousands of characters on screen. So you've seen the battle, I'm sure. Like that's one of the battles and stuff. But those, those are the biggest issues. And like, I've been fortunate to work also with the, the programmer that has been on. He was on Prince of Persia's Hands of Time, and ACU 1 and 2 as well. We always work on the Assassin's, so we work together on like, adding all this cool new stuff. And it's always new technology. We have like crazy physics on the character, for example, but I haven't seen it in other games yet. It just makes it look so much more natural. But we're, we're not using the same technique as Alan Mark, but it's obviously everyone learned from it. And so we do use full performance capture, also something Alan Mark doesn't have, where we get the body and the face and the voice all at once. And you can see it, like you can actually see when the character will have a subtle kind of you know, facial expression that just goes with his head tilt at the same time as he's sitting down. Yeah. It all comes together and, and the voice is the same character as well. So it's not for our main it's not for everyone. Because it's logistically very difficult to get everyone at the same time. But that's been our big kind of step forward that we have in this thing. It's a different technique, but it has a lot of the same thought. And now it's, it's about trying to get technology out of the way so you can just get the performance. You're no longer like piecing things together from a bunch of like like view from like Los Angeles on top of like a head from here and yeah. body from somewhere else. So uh, you'll see it, but you see some, some cinematics really it just force so away so it's that. Where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine. Oh! Regardez! Some pathetic red coats waiting for a beating! I will match your face! But they have said, and, and it should be, it should be, a, it should be aware that there are just more Desmond than has been in previous games. I could say that um, one of the things that we wanted to do this time was to have Desmond be a cool character. Because the Assassin's always have such a superhero, it's tough to make Desmond kind of seem good by comparison. But we'll give him some cool things that he gets to do. I think we'll, we'll give you like, a, a better feeling than the quiz. And he also has some of his own moves as well. And give him some, okay. I could say, like, give him some hardcore moves, like, give him a bit of his character as well. So I think I'm quite proud of that. I think he looks like he looks pretty sweet. He's got more of a personality now, then. Yeah. Well, um, that's pretty much it for the questions I have. Thanks for talking to us. Really appreciate it. Cheers.